Pay his med sh- doing the cruise, August 26th, 1970. The Isle of Wight Festival kicks off in England, boasting an incredibly impressive lineup, including Bob Dylan, Joan Baez, Joni Mitchell, Donovan, Jethro Tull, Miles Davis, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, The Doors, The Who, Spirit, Moody Blue, Chicago, Procol Harum, Sly and the Family Stone, Free, and in his last concert appearance in England, Jimi Hendrix. This third consecutive Isle of Wight Festival is one of the biggest music events of the era, surpassing even Woodstock with an estimated 600,000 people descending on the tiny British Isle. The numbers are so great that the sound system is unable to make the grade and the Who step in to assist with their equipment. The entire event is captured on film in what will be the most comprehensively recorded festival to date. Thanks to an invasion of freeloaders and poor financial management by the organizers, the festival loses money despite the huge numbers in attendance. It isn't until 2002 that the Isle of Wight again hosts a major music festival. Even the officially commissioned film titled Message to Love the Isle of Wight doesn't come off as planned and isn't released until 1997. Oh, and by the way, the weekend tickets, they cost about $5.50.